Joining us tonight from Columbus, Ohio, USA, to discuss this development story is Deba Wadia. He is the publisher, New American Magazine. Thank you for joining us on the news. Thank you very much. Biden's meeting with African leaders is coming at the end of a year when Biden has engaged other regions of the world. How cordial would you say is the U.S.-Africa relationship? Well, it's, uh, who says it's cordial uh, in terms of uh, uh, Americans' benefits, you know, because uh, at any time they need, you know, Africa to support uh, what they are doing, they will always come to Africa. And uh, at this time, we know that, um, you know, China has been playing, you know, a very big role in terms of uh, investing in Africa. Uh, in fact, uh, since 2013, according to records, uh, China is the uh, leading you know, country investor in Africa. And uh, this tend to want to shift, you know, um, uh, support or uh, leaning to, to, to China. So uh, it's very important that uh, America comes in, especially at this time, to, 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 to see, uh, let uh, Africa, especially their leaders, to, to know that, uh, yeah, we are there for you and uh, we are ready to, to encourage you in terms of uh, supporting you in, in economy, promoting. Uh, democracy, and human rights, and also uh, advancing peace, security, and uh, not forgetting uh, food uh, and uh, climate change as well. A, a backbeat of Biden's diplomatic efforts so far has been to promote Western democracies as a counterweight to China. Will the U.S.-Africa summit be about Beijing? Well, uh, I'm, very, I'm very sure they will not mention Beijing. You know, but uh, the body language, you know, we show that, uh, yes, this is what we want. We want you to, to start, uh, you know, uh, relating with us, you know, the way you used to relate with us before. Uh, we are there for you. We are there to support you, especially uh, when it comes to uh, security. You know, security is, uh, is very paramount in, in Africa. Africa needs, you know, that support. And that's would only come, you know, uh, very, very seriously from, from U.S. and other Western countries. And so uh, it's very important that this is, uh, you know, uh, discussed and also uh, a priority in the, in the summits. However, uh, African leaders also need to rise up. You know, it's not for... Uh, the, the Western world to always come to Africa to say, uh, we want to help you. Uh, the African leaders should rise up and start uh, making things happen in Africa as well, and not just uh, the Western world. And if you look at it, uh, why is it, uh, it it's that the meeting is not holding Africa? You know, uh, it, it is very, it's very important that it, it should have, you know, happened in Africa because uh, the president of the United States has, has visited uh, the Middle East, you know, he has visited uh, Europe. And so uh, it should have been an opportunity to look at Africa and say, okay, <laughs> let's meet in Africa, somewhere in Africa, maybe in Nigeria. Um, just a uh, few days ago, the, the, uh, the African 50, you know, met, or they are still meeting in Morocco. So, so and the world is participating, so it should have uh, be an opportunity for the president to visit Africa. Okay, um, Africa. Biden says the summit will work towards economic engagement, promote um, um, democracy and human rights, among other issues. How far will this summit, do you think, address Africa's biggest security challenges? Yeah, that, that's why I say it, it must be a priority, you know. Uh, this is this is the time that you know Africa can negotiate, especially when it comes to security. It's, it's a big problem in Africa. Uh, we, we hear of you know attacks. We hear of uh, terrorism. We hear of you know different kind of uh, insecurity in Africa. So 
this is an opportunity to negotiate to say, okay, we need this, uh, you know, this this equipment. We need this to be able to fight, you know, terrorism in Africa. We need this to be able to fight insecurity in Africa. Uh, America has always uh, put, you know, uh, a demand for Africa to do certain things. So this is the time for Africa to say, okay, now that America, you know, needs us, you know, as Africa and as leaders, this is the time for us to negotiate and say, uh, right. without security, you can't, uh, you know, achieve most of the things you America want to achieve, you know, in terms of relationship with Africa. I mean, security is really key when you talk about Africa. I guess we'll see what happens with the summit. We thank you very much, Mr. Deba Oadie, for speaking with us. Thank you very much.